Here we are again, viewer. Um, I am using a different device to film this this time. Hopefully the quality and the sound is a bit better. So, this is exactly where we left off in the first video. And let's resume, shall we? Yeah. It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost plate. Yeah. Anna, does someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Empress treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Now, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. Mongolian script? The light of the great Khan shall so the play the Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So, we're thinking this guy over, right? Damn straight. You in there? What the hell? And what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Everything. Nathan, you are one damn idiot. And see where this got him? It got him here. Move on, Nathan! He is pretty hurt. And he's also very lucky. Treasure! Alright, where do we go from here? And yet he still has enough strength to open up that door. Wow, what a surprise. More ammo? We can't go without that ammo. And it's locked. Of it's locked. It's always locked. Aim and shoot! You're right, Nathan, it is always locked. Nathan, run! He's out now. He's limping, but yet he can climb that. Anybody see anything wrong with that? Oh yeah, watch him grab this. Oh, I didn't see that coming. the most unfortunate client, aren't you, Nathan? Chloe! Well, how much for both of what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. I missed the look on your face. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not Jack. 
<laughs> Let's not forget who walks out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Claudia. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought he'd want to be in on the action. Getting physical. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, find the ships, and we make up with the treasure. With what? Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. I wouldn't trust her, Nathan. It's not smart to trust bad guys or bad girls. Looks like he shouldn't have trusted her after all, right? Alright, let's find a way out of this train. Oh, that, that was easy enough to find. The huge gap in the wall. Break you fatty. But seriously, Frank should totally be dead right now, Nathan. It's a dagger, or is it? Are you sure you're up for this? Feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. I let the insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a circus prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Huh, have fun with that, Nathan. And look, he is. Are making their way into the museum. And we will stop the video here for now. Tune in next time for another episode of Uncharted 2 Among Thieves with myself, Trevor Patterson. Thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time.